Hey guys, it's Noah here from iHollywood TV. Well, coming up today, we're going to share with you some of the hottest jewelry trends and perfect gifts for moms just in time for Mother's Day with lifestyle journalist Anna DeSouza. Plus, Hunter Fee Eddie is joining us from Los Angeles to speak more about plant based recipes this morning. TV stars Travis Mills and Ronnie Jones are here to dish all about their new MTV docuseries, Help, I'm in a Secret Relationship, premiering tonight on the network. But first up, Mother's Day is right around the corner, so it's time to start thinking about the gift that you want to give your mom this year. But don't worry, lifestyle journalist Anna DeSouza has many items that are perfect on the Mother's Day list this year. Take it away, Anna. Well, as a mom who loves to receive mom-inspired jewelry, let me tell you, you can't go wrong with these sentimental pieces for all the special women in your life. Script jewelry is a huge trend right now. Check out this Zales Serena Williams Diamond Mama Pendant. So bold, so stylish. You can also get creative and personalize the gift with engravings and birthstones. And if you're shopping last minute, you can head in-store to Jared to get same-day turnaround. So it really takes that pressure off. And for those moms who love big, bold diamonds, I got you. I love that you can get a large larger lab created diamond piece for what you pay for a smaller mind design. Zales, K, Jared, they're all offering timeless pieces that help to maximize your budget. And I'm loving this classic bracelet here by K featuring round cut lab created diamonds that she'll treasure forever. And if you're looking to gift mom some neck candy, you really can't go wrong with this three carat total weight heart pendant necklace from Jared. It's so gorgeous and sentimental. Now gemstones are a great way to personalize a gift, whether it's mom's favorite color, her birthstone, the kids' birthstones, wedding month. I love love the idea of collection gifts too because it makes it easy for the gifty. They can just add to that collection every single holiday, easy peasy. And stacking rings are a great way to go. Kay has gorgeous blue sapphire and diamond rings, but honestly, you could choose from hundreds of different gemstones and styles that really help make mom sparkle. This Jared Montana Blue Natural Sapphire Necklace is also a showstopper. It check this out, it has an oval smoky blue sapphire surrounded by diamonds. Gorgeous. You can have so much fun with color, and I love that it has that deeper, more personal meaning too. And as far as yellow gold, it is all about layering. It's fun and easy, and you can even add in some of mom's classic diamond jewelry to give her that modern, fresh look. How cool is this oval chain link choker here from Zales? It's bold, effortless, works from morning drop off all the way to date night. Paper clip necklaces are also a huge obsession of mine, and this one from Kay is a must have, and you can even pair it with the matching bracelet. And finally, this pear pendant here from Jared was handcrafted in Italy and features a super unique diamond cut pattern that gives it a really sophisticated shimmer and sparkle as it moves. I've actually never seen anything like it, and it comes with earrings to match as well. I'm Anna D'Souza. Thank you so much for having me, iHollywood. You can visit kjaredzales.com to browse the entire Mother's Day collection. And if you need a little help, like we all sometimes do, you can book an in-store or a virtual appointment with a jewelry expert to find that perfect gift just in time for Mother's Day. Well, now our next guest has teamed up with plant-based food brand Zen B to share some easy recipes for us all this AM. Please welcome Hunter Fietti to iHollywood TV this morning. It's so nice to have you on the show. Welcome. Yeah, thank you for having me. I'm super stoked. Absolutely. So let's go ahead and get started, my friends. So first off, why is healthy eating so important to you? Kind of tell us more about that this morning to our audience. You know, it's I think of it as balance. My grandparents, when I was, when I was a kid, my grandparents were always uh, very plant-based driven, you know, vegetarian driven, mm -hmm. um, lots of fruits and vegetables, right? My aunt was the same way. And that's just stuck with, within our family now. It's part of our routine, it's part of our system when we eat, of having a balanced diet. And now Zen B has just like found a loophole uh, into this with making this pasta out of 100% yellow peas. It's high in fiber, high in protein, which is awesome, gluten-free, and it, it tastes and has the same texture as traditional pasta. So it's really, mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a win. I mean, it's a, great, it's, a, it's a great win for sure. Now, Hunter, what type of pasta is your go-to and why is this your go-to pasta? Well, pasta, uh, pasta actually makes this really easy for a go-to, especially on the fly, something quick, you know, when you get run out of the house. Uh, it right. cooks in under three minutes. You don't have to boil water. You don't even have to strain the water. So a typ typical go-to dish, you know, mac and cheese, right? Throw the milk, you throw your milk or your water in there, you throw your pasta in there, you start cooking it, throw in your cheese, uh, and then you throw in some spices you want. I threw in some shrimp and some Calabrian and chilies, and that's it. Mm. And that, boom, dish is done, and, and that, that's all it takes. It's, it's, it's pretty nice. Yeah, oh, it is very nice. I'm such a pasta guy. I could eat pasta almost every day. 
which I practically almost do anyway. So there, I just submitted it to America right here on the show, Hunter. Yes. Yeah, so, <laughs> so what recipe do you always use when you want a quick meal, when you prep a quick meal for yourself? Um, yeah, I'm a pasta connoisseur as, as, as uh, myself. You know, I love pasta. I'd eat it all day, every day if I could. Uh, yeah. Honestly, you know, mac and cheese is a great one. That's, it's something simple. Everyone loves mac and cheese. I've never, I don't think I've met anyone that doesn't like mac and cheese. Uh, yeah. And then you just elevate it a little bit, you know? It's, it's, it's quick. I, I, I like spicy food. I like garlic. I mean, who doesn't love garlic? Mm-hmm. So I just throw in, you know, some, some shrimp and some Calabrian chili, maybe a little garlic powder. And that's all you got to mm-hmm. do. And that's just boom. It's like a big boy mac and cheese right there. Uh, all this food talk is making me so hungry this morning, Hunter, but do you have some more recipes, <laughs> easy recipes that you can share with us that we can make in, you know, in a quick time frame? Ton, tons, yeah. I mean, you got tahini and peas uh, and some broccoli and some cabbage. Throw that and make a little, make a little fresh salad. Um, I, got the, I got the veggie confetti, as like we like to call it, uh, with some bell peppers and some cucumbers and some, you know, some... Uh, some uh, squash, whatever you want to put in there, and uh, it just a nice little, nice little fresh salad, and then to go on the go, make a mac salad. You know, put some cal- uh, carrots and celery in there. Do whatever you want. Uh, there's tons of recipes as well on zenb.com/hunter. Um, there you'll find also all the pastas, all their awesome sauces, uh, my bomb Cajun chicken uh, bell pepper uh, pasta uh, recipe. Gotta try it. It's it's legit. Yeah, well, Hunter, I know what I'm going to be trying this week, my friend. I'm going to be trying that this week. The, <laughs> the, I love chicken. I, you know what, Hunter? Last night for dinner, I had ribs. Mm, that, it was good. It was real oh, good. Love ribs. Yes. yes. You can't love go wrong with That's ribs, awesome. Hunter. Well, <laughs> no, of course not. Of course not. Now, Hunter, what's your secret for a great recipe? I think any recipe that you want to... There's no secret, like really. It's always about how you perceive it and what you want to put in there. I, what I always think about is when I'm making a recipe, what do I want the dish to say and how am I going to incorporate flavors, what flavors am I going to put in there, uh, what am I basing it off of? So if I take you know, mm-hmm. a Cajun chicken dish, I love the Cajun chicken because it's that blackening spice, right? So you take whatever flavors you love and you can incorporate it to any dish you want to make and boom, now it's a new recipe. You just elevated your own dish and it's probably going to taste good, right? That, that, yeah. That's all it is. You, you take the flavors you like and that you love and you incorporate it in however you want. Absolutely. Well, Hunter, this has been a great conversation, but tell our audience where we can go for more information about all these great recipes that we've discussed this morning. Well, thank you again, Noah, for, for, uh, for having me on here. And if anybody wants to check out Zen B, I highly recommend you do. You go to zenb.com slash Hunter, and you'll also get a 30% off for your first purchase. Um, Try this. It's legit. I'm not kidding. Hunter Fietti, thank you so much for your time here at iHollywood TV. You take care. You have a great day. And it was a pleasure to get to meet you and speak with you this morning. Thank you, Noah. Yeah, it's been great. So awesome. Big thanks to Hunter Fietti for some great recipes. And now I'm hungry and I want to go eat. Okay. <laughs> well, now our next guests, Travis Mills and Ronnie Jones, they're starring in the new MTV docuseries, Help, I'm in a Secret Relationship. I talked with them a couple of days ago. We had a great conversation. Here's a preview of their new show premiering tonight on MTV. Take a look. Hi, Noah. What's up, Noah? Hello, Travis and Ronnie. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. How are you doing? <laughs> it's so great to have you guys here with us this morning. By the way, it's nice to see you once again, Travis. I think you, this is your third time being on the show. And Ronnie, it's so nice to actually get to meet you virtually. Finally, let's do it. Well, thanks <laughs> yes. for having me back. <laughs> it's great to see you guys collaborate on this project. So let's talk about it, y'all. So MTV's exciting new docuseries uncovers the heartbreaking stories of people who have been emotionally manipulated into keeping their relationships a top secret, even on social media. So this new series is titled Help, I'm in a Secret Relationship. So share with us what made you both want to join the show as host. I mean, I'll, I'll start here. Um... You know, mm-hmm. I have, I'm a fan of Catfish, Ghosted, that, you know, Travis also hosted. Um, I just yeah. love relationship shows and get into the bottom of, of, of secrecy. Um, and so mm-hmm. when I had a meeting with MTV and they pitched this to me, I said, absolutely. And then they said, you're going to be working with Travis. And I was like, oh, my God. Um, so it was just a, <laughs> a wonderful experience all around and got to meet some wonderful people. And we got to help a lot of people. 
Absolutely. Now, how about for you, Travis? Well, for me, I mean, I'm just a huge fan of the politician. Um, and so I was like, if Ronnie's attached, <laughs> let's do it. Um, you know, like, like she said, you know, filming Ghosted, obviously a, a, a different show, but, you know, still in kind of the docuseries format. Ghosted was interesting because it was two people who at one time were in a relationship, but for one reason or another, they've been out of contact. They, they don't know how to find that person. And we're, we're working on bringing them back together. This show is about people who are waking up next to each other, going to sleep next to each other, eating breakfast, lunch, and dinner across from their partner. Yet there's this huge red flag. And that's why haven't I met your friends? Why haven't I met your family? You know, haven't been posted on socials what is going on and that's where we yeah. come in and so we travel all over the country we try to help people get some answers and hopefully repair their relationship mm -hmm. it's crazy because a lot of these things in relationships are happening to this day so i think it's a little bit relatable to some of the viewers that will be watching and be like oh you know this happened to me or oh you know this is how ha happened to a friend of mine you know travis what type of stories in the first season will we hear um, I've been telling people that this is like a car crash on the side of the freeway that you can't look away from. There is everything oh, no. from marriage proposals to children and, you know, hiding families to wanting to move in together. I mean, mm -hmm. the list goes on and on. You name it. Um, there are no shortage of twists and turns and surprises. And I feel like that's what makes a show like this fun but also informative and it's also going to be you know a revelation for a lot of people watching it like wait mm -hmm. am i in a secret relationship now ronnie what's been the most common story that you've heard that continues to reoccur in someone's secret relationship um i can't necessarily speak to what the most common reason is because literally there's a, a different reason for every episode i think the right. most common the most common thing though is just a level of obviously lack of communication but a level of mm. fear from the person mm. that is doing the hiding once they once they realize like maybe this person will not accept me for for the reason why I'm hiding them, whether that be, you know, I'm not out with my family or, you know, I've had, you know, bad experiences with relationships in the past. You know, I have a debt that I that I owe or something mm -hmm. that they feel their partner would be embarrassed by. And I think that right. there's a level of fear that kind of permeates throughout the uh, um, the season, not only from the person that's a victim of being hidden, but also a per the person that's doing the hiding. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Now, Travis, why do you think there are so many that do keep secrets from their partners? And what have you learned from this experience of hosting a show like this personally? Yeah, I mean, you know, throughout doing this show, you realize that not everyone who is hiding their partner has some, you know, malicious reason, right? Um, oftentimes, it's it's also fear of, of being rejected themselves. It's It's a personal issue that they don't know how to communicate or, you know, mm -hmm. tell their partner about, and they feel like if they're honest, their partner's going to leave. And so, you know, they create these stories and these lies and, you know, they build up all of these things in their own mind. When in reality, if, if they just had one conversation with the person that they're with, it would make sense. And they could be, you know, on the road to, to rebuilding their relationship. Uh, it, it's really eye opening, and, you know, it's heartbreaking for some of these cases to see what people struggle with that's unnecessary. Thanks, Travis and Ronnie. Thanks to all my amazing guests today. I'll see you back here next time on iHollywood TV. Have a great day and be good and be well. Bye-bye.